So, uh, very good evening to all of you, my dear students. Welcome to session three of this series, RBI Grade B Phase Two, 2024 series. In this series, we will try to cover the objective questions. Most of it is nightmare for most of the students. All right, that what sort of objective questions? Basically, the two marker questions is going to appear. So, we have tried to pick up the important, uh, important news from the recent newspapers. Okay, and on, on the basis of that, we have frames of objective questions, two marker questions. So be with me in this series, it will definitely help you. So we will try to solve the next five questions based on the instruction. All right. And this is the instruction. Recently, the RBI has announced the new rules and regulations to enhance the scope of UPI payments. So the question is all about the UPI payments. UPI was developed by the NP, uh, NPCI in 2016 and is built over the IMPS infrastructure. UPI powers the multi uh, multi bank account into a single UPI ka ek definition there are UPI powers multiple bank accounts into a single mobile application most several bank features like such as transfer of funds etc. The NPCI recently had asked the banks and the mobile payment application like Google Pay etc. to deactivate UPI IDs and number of accounts that had not been active for how many months or how many years? All right. So this is the question. Hello, UPI is a new feature of UPI where users can simply give voice command to transfer funds and input a UPI pin to complete the transaction. Hello, UPI. Remember this new feature of UPI? Okay, you can use such information in your descriptive writing as well. While attempting the subjective question, you can uh, put such, such type of information. Hello, UPI, or you can get the information a definition of UPI from here. All right. Over the years, UPI has become the most successful real-time payment system globally, providing simplicity, safety, and security in person-to-person -person payment as well as person-to-merchant transaction in India. All right. Let's try to solve the question number one over here. The transaction limit for the UPI payments made to hospitals, educational institutions, IPO application, payment to RBI's direct retail schemes, and tax payment has been hiked to how much? Okay, so we have seen for the tax payment this year only it has been hiked to 5 lakhs. From this you can identify if you are well aware about the current affairs part of um, part like for taxpayer UPI payment is hiked from up to 5 lakhs. Alright, so and 5 lakh is applicable for your hospital payment, educational institution payment, IPO application for buying an IPO. Okay, through UPI you can pay up to 5 lakhs. Payment to RBI's direct, retail direct schemes and tax payments. So these are the five entities where the UPI payment up to 5 lakhs is allowed. All right. Remember these five entities. Okay. Choose the appropriate option in the fill in the blank one in the above paragraph. So what was the question? That UPI IDs and number of accounts will be de will be deactivated. If it is, if it is inactive for how many days? How many months? It is inactive for? 12 months, that is one year. Okay. So after one year, the UP or UPI ID will be deactivated. ID will be deactivated if it is not active. Okay. If you have not made, made any sort of transaction in the last one. All right. Yad Rakhna, 12 months or one year. Okay. Question number three. According to new regulations, limit for exclusion from e exclusion from e mandates without additional factor of authentication increased from 15,000 to how much account for credit bill, uh, credit card bill payment, mutual fund subscription, and insurance premium? Ye bhi bahut recently update hua hai. Okay, so you need to remember this. It is increased from fifteen thousand to what? One lakh rupees. Fifteen thousand to one lakh. For whom? For credit card bill payment, for mutual fund subscription, as well as insurance premium. The so UPI payment up to one lakh is allowed. In these three sections, recently it, this limit has been raised up. Okay, yad rakhna these three sections. According to new regulation issued by RBI, transaction limit for UPI is capped by how much, except in few categories like capital market, collections, loan repayment, insurance. Except in these categories, kitna transaction limit hai UPI ka? capped to how much? So it is again the answer is one lakh. Okay, let's see the question number five. What is the campaign launched by NPCI to promote the UPI as an uh, as an easy, safe, and instant mode of payment? 
the campaign launched by NPCI. Name the campaign. The campaign is, is it India Pay Safe? No. Or kya chahiye? No. UPI Pay Asli Fayda kya hai? No. UPI Chalega. Okay. UPI Chalega is a campaign launched by NPCI to promote UPI for easy, safe and instant mode of payment. Okay. The last question of the series. RBI has introduced a new feature that allows the primary users to authorize another person to make transaction from their account. Primary users can authorize another person to make transaction from their account. You have to name this feature. Recently, this was there in the news in the month of September only, so it becomes a potential code. All right. So the name of the feature is delegated feature. Delegated, delegate kar diya. primary user delegated its Accounts operation to the secondary person. Okay. Delegated payment feature. Yaad rahega? Delegated payments. Chalo. Ab kuch new rules and guidelines. Let's see. Regarding the UPI, kuch updates by the NPCI as well as RBI. Okay. Transaction limit increase for UPI 1 to 3 pay. Jo featured phones ke through hota hai. Not smartphones. So, the uh, RBI has doubled the per transaction limit for UPI 1 to 3 pay from 5,000 to 10,000 on 9th of October 2020. You can use this information in your subjective answer as well. Okay. Increase the UPI light wallet limit. UPI light wallet with limit ke liye entries kya hai? Raised from 2000 to 5000 from 9th of October. Ab limit kya ho gaya? 9, uh, 5000 ho gaya. Earlier it was UPI light mein 2000 tha wallet ka limit. Volume gap on UPI apps. To prevent the monolistic, monopolistic practices in UPI ecosystem, NPCI proposed a 30% volume cap on transaction processed by any single UPI app. Okay, 30% volume cap. Ye, taki koi bhi UPI app jo hai na, right now we can see that phone pay and Google. Okay, it captured around more than 80% of the market by through volume. So, isko ye regulate karne ke liye, to prevent such monopolistic practices, 30% volume cap on transaction processed by any single UPI would be there. Okay. And this implementation, the deadline is 31st December 2024. Okay. Taki other platform like Green and other platforms will alert, uh, also get florist. Okay. Monopoly name is a platform. Interchange fee structure. Deadline dekhi yaad rakhega 31st of December 2024. Interchange fee structure. 1.1% will be applicable for merchants on UPI transaction exceeding 22,000 when processed through prepaid payment instruments. PPI models are going to be applicable for 1.1%. It will be applicable for transaction above 2,000. Exemption for small merchants to support the small businesses, the interchange fee will not apply. 1.1% it will not apply to small merchants for transaction below 2 rupees 2,000. Okay, chalo. Ab another updates on UPI. Increased transaction limit. RBI has increased for tax payment. Increase kare kitna tak pahuncha diya? 5 lakhs. Tax payment, health, education, financial investments. 5 lakhs ho gaya hai. Okay, RBI has also increased the UPI light wallet limit. 5000 AM liya. Delegated payment system. Okay. RBI has introduced the delegated payment features that allows the primary user to authorize another person to make transaction from their account. The primary user can set limits on these transactions. If you do person, you can set limits. If you have 1,000, I will allow you to delegate your payment mechanism to another user. Okay. This feature can also help to increase the adoption of UPI, especially among people who don't have their own bank accounts or who need financial supervision. Or who lack the financial literacy. Okay. Unke liye helpful hoga. Delegated payment system. Alright. Interchange fee. UPI transaction per limit. Dekh liya hamne. Raise kya gaya. 10,000 ho gaya hai. Okay. Chal. So ye aapko. And in April 2024. UPI payment in sectors like capital market. Foreign remittances. Insurance have. 2 lakh. A daily limit. Alright. Ye aapko. Dhyan mein rakhne kuch points. Alright. So, you can use these points while answering the question in your descriptive question, descriptive questions. Okay, 15 marker or 10 marker. If any question would be there in the regarding the UPI or its recent updates, then you can use such points. So, note these points and make a footnotes all right, in order to make 
a quick revision during your examination time. All right. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Take care.